Hey everyone, welcome back. This is going to be memory work ideas for CC Cycle 2 and Week 1. I hope you guys have all had a fantastic summer. Mine was quite eventful. We made a huge move from the city in Washington to purchasing some land and uh, kind of expanding our farm and renovating a barn dominium. Uh, so we are uh, in the middle of lots of projects, which is also the reason for this change of setting. Uh, this camper is one that we just renovated in preparation for this new phase of life. So that's what we'll be doing over the next few months. And if that's something that interests you, homesteading, farm life, chickens, renovations, um, cultivating the land and gardening and that kind of thing, then we're actually going to be sharing that journey on another YouTube channel, so I'll leave a link below for you to check that out. If that's something that interests you, you can follow along there. But that has been my summer. We are in a lot of transition here, so this is kind of going to be my quiet place and place where I can go and have uh, a little bit of organization and quiet time so that we can share ideas here. So without further ado, let's get into some memory work ideas for week one. I like to start with math because we usually do some kind of physical activity where you're applying what you're saying to something that you're doing and that really helps it stick for memory. So for math, what we do is the same thing every year. For the ones and twos. For the ones, we jump as we count to 15, and for the twos, we tap our alternating knees as we uh, sing the song that CC provides to Jesus Loves Me as we skip count the twos. So that is how we do math. For English, I learned English to the tune that Missy Wilson provides on her YouTube channel. Uh, she kind of created a song to it, and so I will link that to my page below if you want to check out how it sounds with the music. But for class, we take out uh, we take out our hands. I was going to say a tambourine, but not for this. So for class, we uh, clap our hands to the beat as we say the parts, parts of speech. And this year, I've actually just on dry erase paper. Um, made a little eight, kind of got this idea inspired by some things I saw on Pinterest as I was looking things up. But basically I have written down the names of the parts of speech all throughout the eight, because there are eight parts of speech. And as we sing them, we'll take turns pointing to them with our big pointer, or you could even use uh, little colored cutouts. You could use construction paper if you wanted to at home and have them glue or tape the different names. I chose to go ahead and have them written in for class purposes just because it might be easier that way, but at home you could totally have the names on construction paper cut out in circles and have them paste them in the circles. And um, that is a fun way to introduce the eight parts of speech because there are eight of them. And so the tune kind of sounds like this, eight parts of speech, eight parts of speech, noun, pronoun, verb, adverb, Conjunction, interjection, preposition, adjective. Usually when we sing this song, by the time we get to adjective, we are jumping and making fun of it. But that is how we will present the eight parts of speech for English. For history, we are learning about Charlemagne. And for that, we do take out our little tambourines. And so these, I got a whole bunch of them from the dollar store. You could probably get them at the Target dollar spot many different places, even Hobby Lobby might have those. And basically, because the tune that CC provides for this song has a little bit of a tambourine kind of thing going in there, we will just use these as we sing the song uh, to the same beat that's provided in that tune. So that's how we'll cover uh, history this week, just using those tambourines and singing through the song a few times. I always start out listening to the song together as a class so that we're all introduced to it to the same way and we all know what we're saying. So that's the first part. I'll read it once, then I play the song for the class, and then as the song continues to play on the app, or you can use the website too, uh, then we add the tambourines in later into our repetitions. And so that's how we'll do history. For Latin, we are learning the first conjugation, present tense. And so we will introduce the tune that CC provides for O, S, T, must, is, unt. 
And before we get into that, though, we always start with introducing the title. So first conjugation, present tense. So that kind of lets us know which tense we're working on. And we'll pass around a present just as a visual aid to kind of get that in our mind that this is the present tense we're singing. And we'll sit in a circle and just pass that. So like a hot potato sort of. So each person will have it as we say a different ending. And we'll just pass this around as a visual aid. If you don't want to do up a present or a box like this, you could always just use like a little ball or any kind of hacky sack or something that you have handy. That would also work to just pass around as you're saying the tenses. But a couple different ways that you could cover Latin. We'll do the same method for next week, week two, and then again at week 13 and 14, since then we're repeating practicing the first conjugation present tenses. For a timeline, you guys can give me feedback if you would like to see the motions this year. What I'm going to do as usual is I will be using the hand motions that are provided on the CC Connected site uh, that go to the timeline song. And so that will be the same every week. The same video that they put out with all of the hand motions, that's what I'll be doing in class uh, for all, all the littles and at home as we practice the timeline. And I do that in the similar way as I do for history. We'll start out by introducing the names and the titles of all the timeline cards that I have up on the board, and then we will play the song. Before I play the song, though, I will all introduce it with those motions, and then we'll all do it together with the motions several times. For geography, we are learning about the continents and oceans this week, and so I thought that it would be fun. We're gonna use the colored side of the map that CC provides in the foundations guide. We have laminated versions of those. You can also use the triviums. And for the continents, you have the world map. And so on that world map, all the continents are kind of color coordinated a little differently. So we're gonna be looking at that map and we're gonna use little tiny animal figurines that the kids can use as they travel around the map as we cover all of the continents and oceans. So I've got just a little baggie of all these little different animals. You could use any kind of figurine that you have on hand. And if you don't have figurines, you could even just do dry erase markers and have them color in each of those continents as you review them and introduce them. So we're gonna be going around with our little animals on the map as we sing to the tune of This Land Is My Land. And so the way that I kind of put that together in my mind was North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa, Australia, and Antarctica. These are the continents. Indian Ocean, Arctic Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Pacific Ocean, Southern Ocean, these are the oceans, continents and oceans. And that is how we're gonna cover our geography. And last but not least, we have science. And for science, we're learning what occurred on each day of creation, and so for that, uh, we're going to do hand motions. So this is the same way that I learned it the first time we went through this cycle. I think I just put hand motions that I thought would uh, be applicable to the song that we used. That year, I sang it to the tune of um, Brian McKnight's Back at One. I will link who that idea came from. I can't think of it on the top of my head, but I will put that in this video if you want to sing it to that tune. Or you could just do motions, and I'll show you the motions that we came up with. So we have um, day one, earth, same as when we do timeline. So earth, space, time, and light. Day two, atmosphere. Three, dry land and plants. So we have our arms coming up like plants. And then day four, we have the sun, moon, and stars. And then day five, we have fish sea creatures and birds so we're gonna go like that and then for day six we have land animals so we're gonna make a face like we're going Rah! land animals adam and eve so for that we point to you and me because we are the adams and the eves and um that's how we're going to cover science so for review this week we are going to keep it very simple and i'm going to bring in a printout of our continents and oceans, so just the world map, and I'm going to let them color that in with the colors that we 
first learned it to as we reviewed it as we covered our geography for the week. So as we review all of what we covered this week, they will be coloring in each of those continents on their continent map and then they'll have that to take home and enjoy throughout the week. Or I'll be keeping a lot of their artwork this year to create a book for them to have and take home at the end of the year and that was a new idea that I got from our new community and I'm so excited for it but just keeping all of the artwork and then adding them into a book that you laminate or just glue into a spiral bound book and so we'll be keeping all the artwork and so that will be one of the ones that we'll probably have for them to keep in their art book for the year but that is how we're going to cover week one for cycle two I hope that this is helpful if you have any questions as usual let me know Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you next week for week two.